All right, first birdhouse run complete. Is this not good? Oh, okay, good. R dismantle? Empty? There we go, 420. <laughs> Hello, 18 hunter. Hell yeah, dog. Did I get anything good? I brought a bunch of seeds because I didn't know what all we needed. But yeah, you get the clockwork back, but you don't get the uh, the other stuff back. So you got to, or you don't get the wood back itself. There we go. And I'm just realizing I'm pretty sure I forgot to, is there already a bird in there? What the hell? It's like bird sticking feet out. I'm pretty sure I forgot to fill two of my bird houses with seeds because I'm an idiot. Uh, but no, well, it's not going to be the worst thing in the world. Just kind of, well, we just lost out a bunch of experience. And... Another 420? Level 1900? Oh my god. Wow, I love that this is a thing I can do. This is really good experience. I love that this is such a good experience. I don't actually have to ever trade this stupid thing because I don't like it very much. And let's see the moment of truth. I don't... Empty. God dang it. Yeah, I forgot. I forgot to fill this with seeds. Well, no more hunter levels, I guess. Oh my god! Okay, so another perk to doing these birdhouses, they all they draw bird nests, which are worth quite a... Uh, I don't I gotta crush them first. I don't have the ability to crush them. Oh, yeah. I, oh, oh, that's only worth 1800,000 or 1800. Uh, I was gonna say bells. This guy just got me a UC though. Are you yeah, worth 80,000 coins? Oh my god, I just got so lucky. 62 fishing, which now unlocks monkfish, which requires swan song, which is very difficult because it's hard. And I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Um, I would really like to do that this episode if possible so I could continue to do this fishing stuff off stream. I can't find it because I'm trying to, you probably can see it. <laughs> oh, there it is. 45 smithing and 62 cooking. Damn. All right. I'm going to have to work on those then. I'll have to try actually smithing for the first time. Uh, anyways, welcome back everybody to another episode of Let's Play RuneScape. Um, there were actually a couple clips in already. I'm sorry. It's kind of very hard to tell when when these clips begin and when they don't um, Not entirely sure what I'm gonna be doing in this episode. We'll find out together. Our current count is over 2,500 god damn dude 700,000 gold jeez Let's go do some birdhouses and first of all level 20 hunter which now I believe means we have plus, we have at least level 20 in everything. Hunter's still the lowest level. After that is, I believe, construction, right? No. No, Herblor is. So that's cool. Are we getting some good out of these nests? We'll see. That's actually not bad at all, to be honest. 20. 21 Hunter. And 22 Hunter. 20, 20, 22 Hunter. There we go. Oh, man. I can't believe how fast this is. This is amazing. I like it a lot. Uh, no more bird's nests, so, though. But yeah, so essentially, this is a. I'm, I'm gonna keep forgetting to put seeds in here. I almost forgot again. It's very scary. Um, if you don't put seeds in there, literally nothing shows up. So just a waste of time. I've already forgotten like once. So I'm hoping I'll do that. Wow, I can't. Wow, I can't believe how fast it is, dude. That's crazy. Two more levels till we can do willow uh, bird houses, which will be even more experience. And hello, hello, everyone. It's a, it's a new morning day for me, and I have 23 hunter. We can now catch wild kibats. That's wonderful. I'm so happy. We didn't get a single bird nest. I don't know if this is automatically dropping the bird meats or what. Because you're supposed to get a bunch of bird meats with these too. Weird to me that I'm not getting those. But uh, look at me. I'm actually remembering with now even thinking about to put the seeds in here now. And I don't think I'm going to get another one, right? Uh, uh, let's, well, I want to open these seed bird nests with you guys. Because honestly, it's kind of... Uh, it's kind of... Whoa, 24?! Oh shit, I didn't expect that to be honest. Well, good lord, I'm glad I kept recording then. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, I won't get another one, all right? No, but with that, I can now make willow birdhouses. So uh, next uh, next round, I will be using bir uh, will willow bird nests instead of oak. So that will be even more experience. I don't know how much, but s'mores. And we got two total. <gasps> another UC, oh my God, that's worth like, 80,000 gold, dude. And this is generally where people train cooking. So I'm about to get uh, 52 here. I actually got 51 last night. I didn't show it because, well, I didn't have my recording up and I forgot about it. And I don't have the music playing. God dang it. Stupid, you idiot. <sighs> you can only make what kind of tackle pie. So I'm not going to show, much like with construction, I didn't show all the levels just because it takes forever. But anyways, this is essentially the best place to train cook in the game because this guy is actually, he works as a bank and he's literally right beside the fire. 
The only kind of not great thing about it is fires have like a much less accuracy in cooking something. You have a much bigger chance of burning something, which means less experience. Um, versus if you're going to a stove or something, which has a much higher chance of cooking something. That being said, it's still definitely worth it to even just burn some stuff. Just, just because you don't have to move at all. It's like extremely fast and that's why... Uh, 99 cooking was the first 99 I ever got in my other account and why it's most people's first 99 actually because it's extremely fast and It's insane. Look at that uh, XP per hour a hundred and eight thousand That's gonna keep going up to this inventory is done Okay, well around a hundred ten thousand experience and that's just with lobsters like a low level 40 cooking food So as you can see it's an extremely fast skill So I'm gonna I'm gonna see how far all these lobsters get us and uh, I will report back every so often 55 cooking and chili pizza as you can see i haven't really been playing that long and i'm already just blasting through these levels cooking really is one of the fastest skills in the game 58 cooking hopefully you guys can see this my recording software is lagging you know i record for like a good 20 seconds before i got this level just to make sure it wouldn't lag but of course right when i get the level i do lag um honestly this is bringing back memories man by the way, here's what I all have cooked and what I've burned so far. Although I think I already have like a good stack of burnt, so it's kind of hard to. At 2,500 roughly, so I guess I've burned around 300 or something like that. How do math? I don't know. Please explain. So honestly, I'm. It's kind of kind of kind of close whether or not I'm gonna actually reach 62 cooking or not. I hopefully should. Hopefully. But man, does this ever bring back memories? I like I haven't done this grind since like. Probably for a good six or seven years. It just it's just insane to me. Anyways, see you probably at 60 cooking. Oops, I missed level 60 cooking. I'm an idiot. Uh, I was I was like whatever, I kept going. I was like, wait a minute, this is like what my fourth or fifth level 60 in the game. So like, oh I should definitely show that then. So there we go. And 62 cooking! You gotta cook monkfish, which means we now have well, we still need I believe 45 um uh, smithing for swan song look how fast about that time 45 smithing not sure i'm gonna get that yet but we're going to work on that how many more do we have here over a hundred well that won't be enough to get us a level but i may as well finish cooking them and um we'll see how much money we make from this 25 hunter we're already one for the wheel 100 <laughs> we're not and we finally get to try these willow uh bird how's that so that'll be cool and I finally just sold all my lobsters. Let's see how much money we made. 500? Oh, that's not as great to be honest. It was 700,000 before I cooked it all and burnt. I don't know. I don't think 680. I don't think that's all from this. I think that's since I ever started fishing for lobsters at level 40. There were a million cash again though, which is fucking awesome. Hell yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay. It's real nice because I've been pretty poor for a little bit. And I'm still pretty poor for my level to be honest, but... We're, we're, we're getting we're getting a little somewhere once we start getting higher combat stats, we can start fighting some bosses all our money issues well we'll still have them but but they'll they'll be less sad and depressing <laughs> and 2700 we now get a uh, 560 experience per birdhouse we do versus um the oak ones which is 420 so that's a pretty nice increase to be honest and we're just going through these levels like crazy. In fact, we're gonna get another one in like two seconds from now. So that'll be very nice. So let's stall for a second so we could just go ahead and get them right now, shall we? 28! Oh my god, it's so fast. I love it. Gourmet airplanes. Hey, check it out. 35! Or uh, Hunter, I mean. <laughs> I don't like go. I guess because this feels like farming, to be honest. It pretty much does. I got another maple seed from this. Uh, I skipped level 29. Because who cares? Another maple seed. Oh my god, dude. Why wow, is this giving me such good money seeds? This is a good money making. Holy crap. So since we're getting so many levels at once again, I'm literally just going to show like every like five levels or if I'm about to unlock something cool or something. Um, because for, there's no point really. It's like, what, what's the point? And time to buy more staffs. Well, staffs waiting to be bought. Let's go buy some stat. Oh, it's close. Got it. Hey. Level 30 herbal art. Why? Because it was the last that I had to get to, to have everything plus 30. So I was like, why not? We have a bunch of extra random herbs in my bank. Her her herbs? Herbs? Anyway, so I figured I'd just make it. I'm going to continue to make it. So it's actually, I might be able to get 31 because I don't have that much left. 
Hello everyone, I'm back. It was one second for you and many moons later. So, off screen, because I was on my laptop, I would have recorded this. I actually did a task of uh, bronze dragons. I had to kill 16 of that, literally two magic holes for him. Use over a thousand chaos runes, which cost a thousand, hundred thousand gold. It was not worth it at all. But I got 55 uh, magic, which is insanely helpful because it unlocks the high alchemy spell. And what this does is it'll turn items like this helmet to gold. Everyone, everything has it, even if they're in noted form, they'll give the same amount. And it's uh, extremely helpful um, for items that typically won't sell, but do have a decent value. So I have mostly a bunch of these items just from um, uh, Slayer tasks and clean this rune dagger. It's like no one cares about a stupid rune dagger, but it's like good for this. Um, also, I finally figured out a way that I'm going to be training my uh, smithing, unless it's extremely slow, which honestly it might be. I'm not entirely sure yet. I have all these iron bars. I'm gonna be making dart tips. <laughs> it's an ex extremely slow method, and just like that, I have 18,000 gold. Although I don't think I should have done the green dragon. I'm pretty sure I need that for a clue. Um, I'm going to be. Uh, wait, no, oops. Uh, I'm going to be making dart tips. It's probably a slow method. If it's extremely slow, I'll, I'll honestly probably just um, figure out another method. To be honest. But for now, that's my plan. I also got like up to 3,700. I don't know what I was at before, to be honest. Last time I updated you guys, I've just been doing the birdhouse runs and then it's been amazing. And there you go, 56, was that exactly 25? I just got 25 experience. So I just did that kind of off screen as well when I was bored one day. Since I don't want to do any more fishing until I unlock monkfish, because there's not really much point in doing so. So there's a random, <laughs> there's a random wood cutting level and I don't even want this. So what I'm going to be doing here is we're using this on, on these, oops, no, stop that, uh, on these dudes. And then I'll note them, yes. And then I can go just make dark tips over here. Let's see how much experience we get. I'm not even entirely sure. Uh, I have enough to till we can make steel dark tips, in which case I'll be switching to that. What? What? What do you mean? Oh my god! What do I gotta do to get that? So apparently I have to do this ta this uh, uh, quest called the tourist trap in order to unlock making dark tips. Good God, I don't remember how long this quest is. I pray it's short. Wow, I can't believe how many steps we have to take. There's a better way of training smithing called uh, Blast Furnace. However, I don't have access to that yet. Mostly because most that's mostly my fault, to be honest. I could get access to it if I did another quest. So it's like, what do I even do at this point? Do I do the quest or do I do the quest to make dart tips? I don't know, dude. I'll figure it out and then I'll get back to you guys and say, know what the heck I'm going to do. Oh, one other thing. The only place to kill these um, bronze dragons was actually in Karamja. So because of that, I actually did a few of these tasks. Uh, chop vines get deeper into Brimhaven, so I did that. Cross lava using the stepping stones of Brimhaven dungeon, I did that. Because that's all in the dungeon. And I think I did another one? Kill metal dragon in Brimhaven, so I did that because of that. Um, so because of that, like I, I kind of unlocked all this stuff and I did it all off stream. I, I, I kind of wish I could. It was like, didn't really matter though. I don't know, dude. But I ended up uh, doing that off stream. So, oh wow, we. I bet you didn't expect to see me here. I just want to point out the witch is outside of her room. She's supposed to be in here in the kitchen, but she's out here for some reason. I'm confused as to why she's stuck out here. Okay, good. I was gonna say. So the reason why I'm here is actually at level 50 range, like a little while ago. Uh, you could talk to her and upgrade your Ava's attractor to an Ava's accumulator. Uh oh, how do I do that? Devices? 99 coins or a tractor and 75 steel arrows. So, the Ava's Assembler was actually a recent release, required Dragon Slayer 2, which is one of the hardest in the game, I believe. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. There you go. So, the difference between this is instead of plus 2 range attack, it gives plus 4. Oh, that was even a diary thing. Perfect. So, that will help, hopefully, a little bit with the jellies. Um, so, that's just another uh, thing I've been kind of meaning to do for a little bit that I finally got and done, did it. Uh, I'm gonna go kill my Slayer task of all the jellies. 63 hit points! Totally didn't miss it or anything. <laughs> um, also got from 51 to 54, and I'll get 55 and probably 56. I don't think I'll actually hit 56 by the end of this task. Um, this task sucks. I hate it. A lot of people like this task. I've also gone to Slayer level, and I think that's it. This last time I saw you guys, I think. Give me a 55 range. That's oh, all right, Matt, because he was in a safe spot, and then he moved out before I hit him. 
Pretty good. God damn, you've hit five range. Thank God. I ran out of potions, so I'm just sad. I only have 14 to kill. There's no point. I have 55 range. I'm definitely not getting another one, so I'll figure I'll just update that. What a nice spot to stop on, though. Oh, God. I just did a uh, easy clue scroll. <laughs> Seven salmon. 44 body earns 627 coins, but I got a master clue scroll very early on in this series before I started playing this again I talked about there's four levels of clue scrolls easy medium hard and elite Turns out I was wrong. There's actually a master as well, and there's no way in hell Show us a Sherlock is located in the east of the sorcerer's town. Okay, that's actually something we can do Interest. Well, there's master clues are like you need extremely high stats to get. There's no way we will actually complete this. Uh, but let's see how far we get for shits and giggles. Okay, here's Sherlock. Here, I've actually this is a newer NPC. I've never talked to him before. Is he is he shirtless? Am I saying that right? Or does he just have a tan shirt on? He, yeah, he's shirtless. All right. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I was looking for. What is this? Oh, uh, that was an easy task in the candor? Teleport? Wait, what? That definitely was not teleporting because I've done that plenty of times. Teleport to a spirit tree you planted yourself. Uh, about that, I think I need, what, 80? I don't even know. Where is that at? Ah, of course. Just need a tiny 83 farming. Welp. One day. <laughs> uh... Oh, uh, it wasn't even- that didn't even count as a step. One day we'll all do this? Not for a very, 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 very long time. Like, a year plus from now. Oh my god! First of all, 41 Hunter. I missed 40 by accident, so I was like, well, I guess I, I thought I only got 600 experience from these birdhouses. Turns out I got 700. But, the reason why I'm recording this clip, I just got a magic seed! That's worth 177,000 coins! That's fucking awesome, dude! Oh my god, that's the first time I've gotten something like that. Wow, holy crap. That, wow, that's definitely going to have to uh, sell that. Yeah, check it out. I forgot. What? Wait, really? Oh yeah, check it out. Oh yeah. Check it out. 60 wood cutting! You can now chop down yew trees, which is a very nostalgic way of making money. Kind of. I never did it because I heard it was really slow. But that's our fourth level 60? Fifth? Fifth. 